Happy day, everybody. Greetings from Guam. Today is video number five in my Ditch and Switch series. And today I'm going to be talking about, again, one of the ninth most toxic products in your home. And this is something I'm fairly confident that most people have on hand in their house, and that's soap. So um, this encompasses either uh, bath soaps, body soaps, or body washes. So um, for those that don't know, there's actually some fabulous bar soaps available from Lemongrass Spa. They are uh, cold processed, they smell amazing. And so this was our new uh, Magnolia and Ivy soap that just came out. And as usual, you can pronounce all of the ingredients. So it contains palm oil, coconut oil, apricot kernel oil, jojoba seed oil, sunflower oil, natural plant, ex plant extracts, vegetable uh, glycerin, and chromium oxide, which is for the color. So on this particular bar soap, the magnolia and ivy, it has this fun um, green border on it, which is what gives it the, um, the oxide ingredient. That's what that's for. So um, in addition, for those of you who don't like bar soap, I actually love bar soap, and that's what we always have in our shower. But for those of you who would prefer body wash, we do have body wash as well. So this is one of our new uh, body wash fragrances, Cherry Almond. It's been very, very popular. Um, but there are lots of body washes to choose from. So um, I'll see if I can find them here in the catalog to kind of share with you. But body wash is another one that um, a lot of times over the county counter body washes have a lot of chemicals to make them foam up and give you that lather that most people are used to. So one of the things I tell people when they're trying our prebiotic body wash is it's not going to have that same lathering effect because of the fact that it doesn't have those chemicals to make it do that. Um, these do have prebiotics, which uh, those of you not familiar with prebiotics, they're kind of like health food for the skin. So um, prebiotics is basically like food for the bacteria that grows on your skin. Everybody has bacteria on their skin. There's both good and bad bacteria. And so with prebiotics, it's feeding the good, healthy bacteria that's supposed to be there to protect your skin from uh, the bad bacteria. So it helps to crowd out the bad, ba the bad bacteria. So we actually have um, skincare that contains prebiotics so that your skin is healthy and uh, pH balanced and it has what it needs to be healthy and um, not have bad bacteria. So this is a really great body wash to try if you tend to get um, acne on your body, if you just prefer a body wash to a bar soap. Um, and this again is made with uh, water, coconut oil, plant-derived glycerin, aloe vera gel, sea salt, kelp, citric acid, sunflower oil, and natural plant extracts. And a lot of the ingredients are organic. It's made here in the USA, completely non-toxic, biodegradable, and it does not contain GMOs, which are genetically modified organisms. So this is a great option to swap out for something that you're buying at your discount store, uh, your traditional grocery store. This is gonna be a better option for you to ditch and switch. So I'm still trying to find the other fragrances. I know we have lots um, of different body washes. And so far I found body polish, but not body wash. Here we go. So um, our prebiotic body wash, there are two, four, six, eight, nine to choose from. So if you're not a fan of the cherry almond, I love it, but not everybody does. Uh, there's a baby blend, which is um, something I mentioned in a prior video for the baby and child care. There's the cherry almond, grapefruit bergamot, lavender mint, lime splash, passion punch, spearmint eucalyptus, sugar petals, and tranquil escape. So there really is a fragrance for everybody. If you're not a fragrance person, we even have a facial prebiotic wash that's unscented. So you could always just use that or the um, unscented three-in-one men's prebiotic wash that I mentioned in our last video. So I hope this gives you guys some inspiration and some good options for ditching and switching some of the ingredients that you may be using that are not good for you 
to something a little bit more natural. There really are affordable alternatives out there. And so I just want to give you hope that it's not hard to find if you really are interested in looking. Um, if you haven't already, be sure and request my uh, top 12 ingredients to avoid in your personal care products. There's a link below this video. Uh, and I'd love to have you tune in next week where we're going to be talking about the eighth most toxic product that you likely have. And I'd love to know what you guys think that might be. But uh, join us next week, same time, 9 o'clock Thursday here in Guam to hear about that and what you can ditch and switch for a, a better option. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, come like my business page, and you'll be the first to know about these uh, videos that are out in my series. There's gonna be a total of 10. So this is video five, we're about halfway through. And I look forward to hearing your feedback and finding out what you think. So have a great day and um, be healthy.